Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro L. They are going to be doing a smaller one without the number pad as well. But I'm going to try and whiz through this as quick as I possibly can do. This one I've got comes with uh, brown switches, but you can get them in red and blue as well. Uh, it's full RGB, 16.7 um, million colours. So it's proper full blown RGB as well. The... Uh, I don't normally open the boxes on camera with you, but normally when you open a uh, keyboard box, or at least the ones that I get to play with, you normally, and then you'd have the keyboard in there straight away, but this one's got a secondary wrap. And straight away, I'm already thinking to myself, where's the cable? So when we do move it out the way, we spin it round, you can see round the back, no immediate cable connector, but it's actually hidden inside and what this does mean it's a uh, micro usb what it does mean is you've got lots of options to be able to change it because where it is a very common cable i'm just grabbing it out now essentially it's the same that you would uh, use to charge your android mobile phone um, uh, this one does come pre-braided but if you think about it this one is 1.5 meters long there are lots of cables on ebay and amazon and in the local shops where you can get red cables blue cables loads of different braided cables uh, so you could customise it to match with your setup. There's uh, also people like Pex on that will make you one of these and it will be the best quality thing you've ever had in your life. Uh, you've got a cable puller here. I keep thinking that this is some kind of weird torture element or something to cut styrofoam with and it's meant to get hot. But otherwise, in the box, it's just the manual. So what can we say when we look at the keyboard? Well, it is actually pretty basic when you think about it. There's no mega macro pack down the side. There's no extra girth around the outside either. It's very um, slim and clean looking is one of the things I would say. It looks like one of the really, really high end super keyboards that you can get that uh, you need a mortgage to buy. I'm just trying to pull the keys off and you can't actually do it with your fingers. So let's get a try with the old thing. And obviously we're doing, there we go. You can see that the uh, keys are actually recessed as well, but you can see the, um, the brown hidden there and it's clear surround because obviously we've got our LEDs. One of the other things that we can do is have a look on the back of the key. Come on camera, there we go. Now I'm obviously really interested to see this lit up, but it's daylight today so we need to go to my sensory deprivation chamber which is the shower shed okay peeps so it's a strange way of doing things but we are now in our shower shed which is basically a converted bathroom that's why there's echo because we're in quite a small room but it means we can block out all of the light so the only light that you can see now is coming from the uh, laptop which we're using because we haven't got a full system in here it's just easy to get a bathroom in or the actual keyboard itself now this is the software uh, you can download it from the uh, Cooler Master website. On the library side, you've pretty much got a way of being able to back up your profiles, export or import profiles so you can share with your friends uh, and uh, you can select the profiles that you want to do. On the LED side, you do have uh, four select profiles that you can set uh, and you can change them on the keyboard as well if you want to. Now, essentially we've got, uh, on the right hand side, we've got the RGB section where you've got sliders, and you can literally just move the sliders. Now the keyboard is changing underneath me to mirror what is going on on this. Uh, and essentially when you have them all slid up to uh, one end, they go white because it's, they're all lit. If you slide them right back the other way, then they're all off, so that's uh, dark. It's also a really nice way that you can sit, uh, change the brightness as well. So keep that in mind, if it's too bright, you can uh, reduce these down because if they're all the same, um, all in the same place, then what you're going to do is you're gonna get white, but dimmer. So keep that as, uh, in mind. It's, it's the same if you want to mix and match the colors as well, depending on how far they are up, it's also to do with the brightness. So we're gonna go for full wang in white at the moment, because it also helps me be able to see. So we've got that, but then you also have a selection of uh, preset um, modes down the side, single key, cross wave, color wave, star effect, raindrop, and all that type of thing. But I thought what would be best is if I actually show you them on the keys. Now, before we go anywhere, one of the things I will show you, and we'll 
bring it in so that you can have a see, is that the uh, underneath the FN keys there are some other options, but they're not quite lit. They're printed and you can kind of see them, they're, they're more hidden. Now uh, over here you've got macro, minus macro plus, you've got LED button here, you've got a windows button. These are one, two, one times, two times, four times and eight times, all to do with your macros and polling rates. You've got a mode button, you can actually turn the red, green and blue up as well. Uh, up on this side you've got print screen, scroll lock and uh, caps lock are actually quite cool because they're not lit unless they're activated, which is kind of cool because there's no other LEDs on here to be able to show you that they are lit. And then you've got some um, program buttons up here, like P1, P2, P3, P4, and then you've got your normal keys over here. Again, number lock there, it's only on when it's selected. One thing I will say about this though is when we bring you right in, you can see how bright this is. There's a white background underneath, which means that the, uh, the, 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 the lights and the LEDs really do shine through. It's a very bling keyboard. And uh, we did a nice close up there, but if I was to put it onto the color wave, I'm just going to search for it. Uh... Okay, so we can zoom right in and see them changing. It's all very cool. Now I did say it was a very bright keyboard, but just how bright is it? Okay, so where we are in our whited out room, we've now got it in the corner so that you can see the, uh, the LED shining up the sides. It's a good way of showing you the colors as well, really. Uh, this is with the color wave, which is a really nice effect. But if we were to go static, that is just our white, and it, it is a very, very fast change. Cross mode uh, actually requires you to press a key, and when you do, So that's all quite cool. Uh, then you've got a customize option. One of the nice ones is a star effect. Might be kind of nice to have it as a, a background light. I think if I was trying to type at night, this would drive me absolutely nuts though, because I'd think that the keys were moving. Raindrop is another, maybe a nice subtle one for a kind of light. Maybe if you're watching a film or something, if you don't find it too, um, on putting colour cycles are a good one as well. This is a really good one to be able to show you the colours. Uh, it literally just fades through all the colours. Could actually be a really nice way for you to decide one that you actually liked and one that suited your system as well. Another one is breathe. This uh, you need to use the RGB section at the side that I showed you, so you choose your colour and then it will just breathe through them. And then this one is ripple. So when you press, it shoots side to side. Now there is an option on here to play snake, and I have to admit, I've been trying to do it, but it feels wrong if you've not got a Noctua, Noctua, Nokia 3210 in your hand. <laughs> Anyways, so finishing our in our sensory deprivation room, uh, the, the keyboard is immensely bling. The cable option is really nice. The keys are really nice and bright and vivid, and there's no unwanted kind of bloat on the keyboard. It's quite small and compact, very premium feeling. It's got a nice weight to it. Uh, and even though it does come with a 130 pound price tag, uh, we think it's worthy of the OC 3D Gold Award. Uh, please go and have a look at the main review on the website where Brian, our, our keyboard and peripherals tester, has given this a complete and utter full rundown. But for now at least, this is TTL with another Rushkit video for you, out.